First thing we're going to do is we're going to make a template to poke all of the holes in our signatures. And a signature is just a grouping of paper that's been folded into one. So I just took a piece of scrap paper and right now I'm going to cut it to be the same length along the spine as my signatures. Okay. And the next thing you're gonna do is I'm gonna mark on here. I'm gonna put this in the middle because this is actually a little bit bigger than the signature. So I center this and then I wanna mark where the holes are here on my piece of scrap. And then poke my holes. All right, now what happens is this can fit inside my signature and then I poke my holes and then my holes are the same in every single signature. So I'm gonna use a book cradle that I made. You can buy book cradles, but I'll make a video on how to make them too. Or you can also just get a big magazine and then you just set them in here and it holds them open so you're not poking out at some weird angle so you're poking straight down okay. so i've poked all my holes and as you can see they kind of form a line across here so what i'm going to show you next is how you sew these to the covers and to each other. So the stitch you're gonna use on this sketchbook is called a Coptic stitch. It's a very popular stitch because it's awesome. So the first step to you making your sketchbook is to come through on the first signature from the inside on the farthest hole, either side doesn't matter. What we're gonna do is we're gonna attach this first signature to the cover. And then we're going to go from there. So you go from the inside. There we go. And come out. And then what we're going to do is we're going to loop around the cover. And then we're going to come back through this hole to meet this tail here. Get it nice and tight. We're gonna tie a square knot in here. Then from the inside here, we're gonna move on to the second hole. And we're gonna also loop around the cover here. then go up in through this hole. And the entire way we go, we're gonna make sure everything is pretty tight because the thread will actually, it'll loosen up over time. So we want it to be tight. Go across. Now on stitch three, it's gonna be difficult. This is gonna be pretty set in. So what I suggest doing from stitch three is actually when you come up through the cover hole, just flip over to come around or you're gonna just be fighting, fighting the book. All right. Back in through that hole. Always move across your book from inside of the signature. All right, I'm gonna go down through this hole. Okay. 
can't see what I'm doing. Okay, there we go. Okay. We're at the last station, so do loop down to the cover, but then we're gonna change it up a bit. Oh, uh-oh, I dropped the needle. <laughs> oh, all right. So what I'm not gonna do is I'm not going back in here because how do I get onto the next signature? If that makes sense. What you're actually gonna do is I'm actually gonna pick up the next signature and I'm going to go in to the next one. All right. So I'm moving on to the station number two. In signature number two. All right, so this is where we're gonna start looping down to the loops below to attach a signature to another signature. So that means we're gonna loop, I'm gonna come around, I'm gonna loop in here, and then I'm gonna come back up to this. So I find it easiest to do it this way, go this way. So if you can see here, I have looped here and then I'm gonna go back up into here. When you're tightening from now on, tighten after this step, because if I tighten too hard when I just have the thread coming here and it's not been looped, I might rip this hole right here. So always tighten after you've looped down and that way it will just tighten and not rip your hole. All right, so I'm gonna go back into the signature from Station number two, back inside. I'm gonna move on to the next station. I'm gonna loop like this, back into this hole, go loop back into this hole, go loop, and then I'll show you what you do over here because it gets a bit complicated. So I've come out of this hole here. I'm gonna loop once again. And of course, I'm gonna add the next signature. I'm gonna do this little trick here where this goes under there and then into the next signature. Let's see if you can focus. Come on. All right. And now I'm gonna pull this tight. And then I'm gonna come across, loop, 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 go back up in, put on the next signature. So I'm gonna show you the last step where you actually attach the final signature and the cover together. So attach your next two signatures and then on the last signature, you actually attach that along with the other cover. So I'll show you how to do that. So real quick, before you get you to your last signature, you're probably gonna run low on thread. Um, you can only make these threads so long before they get too difficult to work with, so that's why you have two separate pieces. So to add more thread, you want to be inside of your signature, and I think it's easiest to tie this knot along one of these longer breaks between the stations. You'll see why in a second. So what you're going to do is you're just going to tie a square knot, and then you just want to have that square knot laying somewhere between the stations. Like, you know, you don't want it hanging out up here, and then it you're trying to pull the knot through 
your hole. So you wanna make sure it's in between the stations, just a square knot, and then you just thread your new piece of thread, trim the ends, and continue going. So right now, I have come out of the last signature, the, um, I'm sorry, the last station on the second to last signature. So I still have one more signature and the cover. So we're gonna attach these at the same time. So I've come out of here. I am going to loop around the bottom here. made my loop. I'm going to set this here. I'm going to take my cover and I'm going to loop around the cover here. Right. So I haven't even done anything to the signature, signature yet. So I've looped from the second to the last signature, looped down. Okay, sorry, the video cut out. So basically, I came out of the signature, looped the signature, the loop here, below it, came up, went over the cover, and now I've come out of the bottom cover here. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna make sure that I go over this, and then I go back into the first signature on, I mean, the first station on the last signature. I'm gonna go into that hole there. These next two stitches are a couple of the hardest ones. So now the trick is to get everything all tightened up and then we're gonna do the rest of these stitches. Okay, so through a lot of coaxing, I've tightened that basically as best as I can. So once again, I've come out of the second station here. I'm gonna loop, come up, hook, and go back in. So at this, the next several stitches, you pretty much just need to open the book up to find the needle. I'm gonna go down. All right. So I've made my loop down, get it nice and tight. All right, up and over. Then I'm gonna go back into that hole that I came out of at the beginning. So I'm gonna do that for all of these, get to the end, knot it up, and then we're done. All right, so I just went into the last station Tied it off, and now my book is finished.